Okay, what is up everybody? I figured I'd just do another one of these videos. Um, just one of my regular old uh, spider plays videos that don't require much effort to edit. Because I don't have a lot of time for uh, Glenn plays videos, which I'm really trying to get back into doing. But they require more effort on my part, so I figured I'd just give you guys a little something. Just a little something, and you know, in the meantime, to hold you guys over if you really want to watch me play video games. Uh, Connor and I just played Gold Simulator for the second time on this channel. So, um, anyway, tonight I just I really needed a fucking break because uh, I have off of work at my factory job, and I I've been up all night doing artwork, and I'm kind of burnt out on it now. I haven't done a lot of artwork at all in 2017, so now I'm getting back into it for stuff I'm behind on for people, and but I, I just need a fucking break, so we're going to play the, the never released Super Contra 7 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This wasn't a real game, it was a bootleg game. Uh, it was created by some weird company from the 80s that just wanted to make money off of Konami titles, so they made up their own thing, you know. Ain't like that, I didn't die once yet. Uh, I came close though. Yeah, let's see if we can get through this whole thing. Do a full playthrough of it. It's it's fun. I like it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess it was the first time, huh? I got the 50 live code on though. Fucking shit gets hard, man. I also like doing these videos too because I can just do them without any rhyme or reason, and it seems like people like watching full playthroughs or random playthroughs or whatever. And I, I did a full playthrough of uh, the Goonies for LEGO Dimensions. But there was like no commentary or anything. It's, it was just one of those videos I threw up there just for something extra. And I don't know how much people really liked something like that. Oh shit, this boss fucking blows. It takes like a million hits to kill it. Holy shit. almost fucking died. Oh, shit. Okay. I wonder there's a fucking 50 live code in this game. It's just, some of the difficulty is ridiculously hard. First time I've ever heard of this game was on a, an emulator. I downloaded it. If you watch this too, it's like really glitchy. It's, it's a, some of the, some of the fire the enemies fire all, like the, the gunfire. It goes at like sporadic patterns, sometimes it's really fast, sometimes it's really slow, it's just really strange. But it's still, you know, at its heart, Contra, that's why it's kind of fun. I don't know, I've just always had a, a love and interest in this game, even though it was kind of just like a shitty bootleg some company did a long time ago. Jesus Christ, the thing is, doesn't die. <laughs> I got fucking... The fireballs just go all over the place. Oh, man. I don't know if there's people that can get through this without taking any fucking hits. I'm still working on getting through, you know, normal Contra and just three lives. Um, I play the game all the time. I've gotten through it only wasting five lives, so I'm, I'm improving. If you guys watched any of the other Glenn Plays videos where me and Connor played Contra and Super C all the way through. <laughs> Jesus. It's like madness here. Some of the deaths are really unfair though. Like I. Especially when this, the second level comes and the deaths are really fucking unfair.
Oh, I use like six lives. I mean, it's not terrible. Holy shit! I'm gonna drink my fucking brandy and coke and almost died there. I can't believe I'm not dead yet. God damn. Oh, God, okay, I spoke too soon. I just lost the laser. I actually like the laser a lot, even though everyone bitches about it. I got quite a few lives left. God damn it! I don't think I've ever done this bad on this stage before. Did you see that? Jesus Christ, like what the fuck killed me is there? That's why there's a 50 live code in this fucking game. here. Shit. Okay, on my... The ROM I have on my PSP, I did this whole thing without taking a hit once in this boss stage. Man, oh man, I really took a beating this time. 35 lives. comes to this stage, it's not even that bad after a while, you know? Something bitch. Yeah, uh, any of you watching, I really am trying to find the time to get shit done. I know I haven't been getting a whole lot of movie reviews or game videos done lately. Uh, I'm trying, you know. You know, a lot's been going on, and kind of ran out of time to do a lot of shit. Been putting in a lot of overtime at work for Christmas, you know. I want this Christmas to be really good for my son, because last Christmas was a, a pain, because, you know, I had really heavy wage garnishments. Half of my pay was getting taken away. Fucking student loans. At least half the battle's over for me as far as student loans go. I don't want to 
to lose the laser at this point. It's like my one of my favorite weapons in the game. Spread in this game kind of sucks. It has a very limited range. Jesus Christ. Look at all this fucking shit. Fucking guys just jump around. Fuck, god damn it. The laser is like so much easier to like kill shit with. I like, think I only died once in this level though. Oh god, this guy sucks. Look, what am I talking about? Every boss in this game sucks and they fire shit in such an erratic pattern. But if it wasn't frustrating, it wouldn't be like, you know, Nintendo fun. That's what that's what the NES was, you know. <sighs> Fucking it. Thank God for that post hit invincibility, hey? <laughs> okay, that didn't help me there. It's so hard to, like, dictate where that fucking fire is gonna be. You have to just fucking be lucky, you know? Yeah, there we go. This isn't my best run of this game. I've done really good. When, when I play on my PSP, I've done really fucking awesome. It's kind of different playing on, you know, the actual cartridge of this. in that part. A bunch of these like winged guys are gonna pop out and shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, this a lot of Nintendo games had that, it's not just the bootleg, but it's I love how like shit just like Like it, it makes itself known like a moment before you reach that part of the screen, you know? Holy fuck. There's like little random bullets that like fly over the fucking screen and shit, like there's like flash everywhere, it's so weird. Oh damn it. Shit. Come on, laser, laser, no. Oh. I want these, like, P things. What is, what is P, anyway? Like, this electric barrier shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck, there's no way to avoid getting hit at some point. So I'm talking about, like, fucking unfair deaths right here, man. Damn it, fuck. Um, in case any, any, you know, anyone's wondering on this game, it's kind of odd, like, machine gun doesn't mean shit, because I don't have rapid fire on or anything like that, but this, this game automatically has, like, machine gun on, like, if you just hold down the B button and you just... Shoots like he's got the machine gun already. I never really got that, but you know, I'm not complaining. It saves my thumb from, you know, getting massacred. God damn, fuck. God damn. 
See, like... See, this is why I don't really care for spread in the game. It's not... It's not as huge as, like, Super C. Holy fuck. I forgot about this guy. I am gonna be getting killed at some point. This this guy's really hard to avoid, see? I should I should have been able to like jump over that guy, but You can't like touch any part of him. And it's fucking hard to avoid all that pink shit, like the, the bubblegum monsters. <laughs> It seems like they... Oh, damn it, it seems like they don't... The bubblegum monsters, it seems like they don't fucking... They don't die when you shoot them. Oh, fucking A. You get a very narrow... Escape range, too, to get away from this thing. Okay, I killed it, but, you know... It took way too many lives. Yeah, I got 19 lives left. This is like the last level in the game, anyway. Oh, why the fuck isn't there any guns? Shit. Oh, fucking A, man. Well, there's a machine gun. It doesn't even matter. Shit. That's invincibility, yeah. Okay. God damn it. There's probably the laser in there too, and I fucking missed my chance. I missed my chance! There's like these fucking like parachuting guys and shit. I wonder if I can destroy that thing. I thought like bullets were hitting it for a second. <laughs> the frame rate dropped just a little bit. Nearly fucking escaped that. <laughs> this is like ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I fucking killed him, but killed myself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know, like... God! Okay. I can get past this, I just gotta maintain. Just run away from as many of these dickheads as I possibly can. I wish I had the fucking laser. It's not gonna give me anything else. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, this is where it gets fucking balls of the wall crazy here. I might lose my cool at some point trying to avoid all this shit. <sighs> See? You don't even have to get like that close to any of this shit. Holy fuck. All that for an ending screen that I can't even read. But I can start the game over if I want, right? Well, it's not too bad. It's a time code on my camera, so I beat that game in about 20 minutes. So that's super contra 7. Full playthrough for you guys. Uh, I don't know exactly what the 50 live code is, but if you do have this game, um, I usually hold right and hold right and B and then press start on the NES controller, and when you do that, it gives you 50 lives. I think that's the code, but every time I do it, it gives me 50 lives for the game. Because 
you're not really gonna get through the game without that code. I mean, unless you're super hardcore, but... I don't know, some people are, I'm just not. I just have fun playing and stuff, even though I'm not a master gamer. But, I got more art to do. I just thought I'd take a little break, have some fun with you guys, just something extra for you guys. Those of you who like to watch me, I gotta get back to work drawing more shit. I got a logo design to do for one of my friends, so... Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Go watch one of my other videos. One of my one of my better videos that have a lot of editing and production value. See you guys.